Hello and welcome to this video. We are continuing our uh, tutorial series and in tutorial series we are continuing the data transformation. Uh, we have done few data transformation. Now there are few uh, more data transformation which are needed. Sometimes we need to uh, delete empty rows. We get a data where a lot of empty rows are there and there could be duplicates also and we want to uh, remove these two. So what kind of stuff we need to do and where is we supposed to do. Let's uh, go ahead and look into this video. So now again uh, what I'm going to do uh, from the same Excel uh, pivot data which you are taking for some time now I go and take a uh, data which is uh, I called as gap so as you can see there are few null rows which are there and uh, once data data is there you will be able to see this is exact duplicate row and I click and check this so unless you check it it will not load it uh, so sometimes what happens we uncheck and just we check one of them and then we see all of other sheets and just go ahead and and load data and then we suddenly find something is missing but no that's not the case you have to check it then only it is going to load and we're going to go to transform data mode uh, once we go to the transform data mode the there are few operations which are required on this sheet first of all this first row is my header basically because this is and this you will see when all your data is of same type power bi will not be able to recognize which is header so like in this case is all text so that's where specifically we have created a sheet where you know you uh, face this issue so because it's all text it is not able to recognize it and because it's not able to recognize it it is given us as a row not as a um, header so uh, we have done this operation in the past uh, in our uh, video but let's do it once more uh, so we will call this as use first row as header it is under the home tab we don't need to select anything for this but we can simply um, do it once the table is selected now we see okay now this is the second operation which we are looking forward now you see these this is complete null row and i don't require this for analysis uh, there is no meaning it's going to add unless I need to count some blank rows. So for that what we have to do is in the home tab again we have this option which is remove rows. Under the remove rows you have option remove blank rows. Okay. So this is the operation which is I wanted to do and I'll say remove blank rows. And once I've done this I know there is no blank row. So one more operation done and you can see the applied step there is one more added if I can cross it I'll get it back. Okay. So if you have done it by mistake, you can reverse it. Now again, I'll do remove blank rows. Okay. Now if you see third and fourth row, you see it's exact duplicate. I don't need a duplicate row. So I'm again going to go ahead and apply one more operation, which is now remove duplicates. Okay. And sometimes if there are error rows and you want to remove that, then there is a remove error rows also. You perform some operation. It doesn't satisfy that operation. And those rows we don't need. There are a uh, few more operations out available out there. So this is, you know, a, a way you can do these operations under the uh, transform data mode. Again, uh, we have to say close and apply. Once close and apply, again, we will go back to the data uh, tab and check the data what we wanted. So we'll click on the gap table and see, okay, this is what the data we wanted. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Thank you.